Hello guys! So, in this video, and it's gonna be an unexpected update, uh, I'm gonna talk about the Retex animation texture. So, almost a year ago I published a video where I remade the uh, editor utility uh, widget that helps you to uh, uh, bake the Retex animation texture using the uh, native Unreal plugin called uh, anim to texture and this uh, plugin lacks only one thing uh, it's nanite so a lot of people uh, out there use pretty much expensive plugin called vertex animation manager uh, this one that i also showed in my tutorial so as you can see it's nearly 500 dollars and uh, yep it has a lot of different things but uh, in case you want to have the simple uh, white texture with some uh, simple logic for crowds and Unreal used this uh, Anim to Texture plugin to animate crowds in their CD sample project. So here we are uh, today. Uh, by this I mean with the Unreal uh, version 5.4 and I was looking around it for quite a while. Yesterday I saw an interesting thing in the static mesh editor and the thing is called the RPBs under the nanite settings uh, category. So if you take a look at the salt tip it says that right now if you store some data inside your UV as you know that in what we store the bone uh, indexes are there uh, and once you uh, enable the night and you start like uh, using zoom and out with your camera uh, with the lurping of the uh, UV channels once the mesh become uh, triangulated and the clusters begin to uh, grow or become smaller uh, like the night uh, gonna be crazy with the shader and the whole mesh gonna be messed up so if you take a look if I just select it here, apply settings. If I take the look at the UV channel 1, you may see that we are out of the bounds of the UV space, so uh, those values are going to be corrupted. And if you take a look right now, uh, a lot of graphical artifacts here. But with this feature, if we uncheck this checkbox right now, uh, the UV becomes normalized, and uh, right now uh, UVs are not interpolated. So if you take a look at the scene right now, the mesh is okay. Yep, we have some artifacts with the uh, lighten with the normal map, but it can be uh, fixed. So we only need to have the simple normal map right up here. And we just need to provide the full position offset to our shader so the vertex animation texture will work completely fine. And now you can see everything is shaded correctly. We, we don't have any artifacts. If you take a look at the preview, you may see the clusters, that they are changing, and the Nike words fine. And if we launch the game and start changing our animations, you may see that everything works fine and just pretty. So, that means that uh, right now you don't need to spend any fancy money. You can simply look at this tutorial, uh, recreate this, uh, this uh, Edit a utility widget and bake it on your own using the latest version of Unreal. So you don't have you 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 won't have any errors, anything. Uh, everything will work uh, completely fine. So what else? Uh, for those who have already uh, used this uh, plugin, uh, just let me show you. So if I launch the editor uh, utility widget. If you have already done uh, baking, so all you need to rebake something just to provide the data asset 
so it's a normal case. Let's say I don't need to have all those animations. I'm just going to delete them and provide uh, only two of them. It's going to be simple. Uh, walk and uh, run animations like this. So if you just... So uh, uh, this plugin has right now a little bug, but I guess uh, it will be fixed and further updates. So if I try to bake the VAT, uh, it actually uses only data asset that's like the data from this data asset to bake everything. But as you can see, we have some uh, some ugly stuff happening. So uh, the hands, the limbs, everything is just uh, enlarged and it doesn't look normal. So all you need to do is just to select the skeletal mesh and the static mesh that we have and simply rebake it. And once it's done, everything is correct. And if we launch the game and start changing between other animations, you can see that we have only two, like the sequence of two, but everything works fine. So that's all you need to do to have the night work uh, with your vertex animation texture. Also, like shadows, everything is pretty much well. Um, so with it being said, I hope uh, this sort of quick video was helpful to you. And uh, please subscribe to my channel, leave your feedback. Uh, in case you want to support me, you can uh, visit my Patreon. Uh, I will leave the link under this video and you can buy a subscription. So now you're free to recreate it on your own. And if you want to, like, if you don't need, want to uh, mess around with this utility widget, you can simply also acquire it on my Patreon. So no need to spend, like, uh, I love this guy, but $500 for the plugin is way too much. It's my uh, honest opinion. Well, uh, I also feel uh, better than I used to because I had COVID or flu, I don't really know. So uh, next few weeks are going to be mm, kind of hot and the, I plan to publish a lot of things. And see you soon, guys.